It's a winter morning here in Ohio. There's Dogley enjoying the snow. Just thought I'd share. Oh, dog is very fast today. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, we're working on the main board for the, uh, the headphone amp. The other day, I did the front panel, which I didn't like the placement of the potentiometer for the volume control, so we'll be redoing that. And most of the changes made here are on the front panel. Just a couple wiring changes here, but not too much. So here you can see our version 2. It is the same uh, shape here. Same size, which is what I can't remember exactly. Yeah, 90 millimeters square. We have all of our circuitry here, and then we have all this area that we can add things to later on. So here's the, you know, the 3D layout of the board is not too much. There's our amplifier circuit. There's the resistors we need and the capacitors we need to, uh, to make it work. It's super simple. So I ordered these boards. I ordered all my boards from PCBWay. They are a major sponsor of the channel and a sponsor of this video. But I want you to take notice here right now. It is the Spring Festival, the Lunar New Year in China. And uh, here is their, their schedule. So today as I'm creating this, it is uh, January 22nd. So we're right in here. See a PCB Assembly Factory, January 20th to the 28th. They are closed. So just keep that in mind. You know, you can see here all their shipping stuff, like uh, DHL. It's closed from the 20th to the 24th. FedEx looks like the 20th through the 27th. So keep in mind that, you know, there could be some issues with ordering right now around the holidays, but don't worry. They're going to make your boards, and they're going to be just gorgeous. All right, so we got the boards back because I ordered them at the end of December for January. But like I said, if you need to order stuff now, it'll just be a few days extra getting it for their holiday. This is the uh, the biggest holiday of the year in China, I believe. So here they are. They're super simple. Let me grab some components and uh, we'll get to working on this. All right. All right. Let's get started. There's only a few components, so, you know, we're not going to be here. That long today, this is a simple project. As you can see, I mean, this is version 2. And you know we're coming to a version 3. You know, it's just kind of... How things go. Especially when you're working by yourself. Alright. So let's get these guys soldered in here. Blake was home for the weekend again and uh, went back yesterday. His mom and stepdad took him back this time so I didn't have to drive. And it was, uh, I think they left about 3 o'clock. And by the time they had gotten home... The highway was closed because of the snow, which is crazy. That's uh, the major highway between, you know, here in eastern Ohio and uh, Pittsburgh and western Pennsylvania is the interstate, U.S. Route 22. So to close that is kind of crazy. Now here in Ohio, every county can declare a snow emergency. Well, the sheriff, the county sheriff can declare a snow emergency. They have three levels. So this is our 10. Level one means, hey, 
it's snowing be careful and they don't even like to do that one very much level two is uh, hey it's really snowing don't go out unless you have to call and then they say call your employer to make sure you have to come in I don't know about you guys but every job I've ever had if I would have called and asked them if I had to come in they'd be like oh if you want to have a job you do It's just not. <laughs> just not wanting to take the solder. That happens occasionally. Oh, sorry. Uh, you know me, I'm always bumping the doggone camera. That's what we'll do. <clears throat> I'm going to add some really aggressive flux that's ruby fluid and we'll see how it does yeah is it working yeah finally we got her in there all right good now for the other one i'm gonna apply some uncle rob's magic solder flux Just so that we're nice and pre flexed there. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Okay. Now our 100 nano or microfarad. And this, by the way, this headphone amp design is straight out of the data sheet for this. Uh, this particular IC. Yeah. I don't like these teeny tiny little pads. Because they just never seem to want to take the solder right, you know? Even after I flexed the heck out of them. And now I'm pretty sure I got a solder bridge. Dagnabbit. There. It's clear now. Not my best work. Alright. We'll go with our 9 volt input here. Of course, in the actual version, that's going to have 9 volt battery. Do wobble on it. Gotta say, I was disappointed that Buffalo didn't uh, pull off a win against Cincinnati. I thought the Josh Allen train could not be stopped. Apparently every train can be stopped if necessary, right? So since he goes on to play Kansas City next week, I hope Kansas City wins. I would like to see a Kansas City uh, Philadelphia Super Bowl. And yes, as a uh, Steeler fan, it is very strange to root for the Eagles. You know, over there on the other side of the state. There's really the only two things in Pennsylvania, you know, or Pittsburgh on the west side of the state and Philadelphia on the east. In the middle. Da -da -down, down, 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 down. Mm hmm Okay. 
last but not least, the brains of the operation, the IC. Get her in there. Get her done. Never happened to Larry the Cable Guy. And his sister, the nun. Holy moly. I used to get a kick out of watching them. Him and Jeff Foxworthy and Ron White. I actually saw Jeff Foxworthy at a comedy club in Pacific Beach in San Diego. Somewhere around 1990. And he hadn't done his whole uh, You Might Be a Redneck If thing yet. So he was very young back then. <laughs> All right, let's do some tests. Okay, we have reached the testing part of the program. So I've got our connections hooked up here. There's our power, 9 volts. That's coming from the power supply, which, uh, you know, somebody screwed up and didn't put the right voltage on it. There we go. So now we're 9 volts. So this yellow cord here is our input. So we're going to come off of the signal generator and go to our input. This black one here is our ground for everything, so we'll just clip onto that. Now, you notice here pins 2 and 3 are shorted together. That is our power switch. And pins 4 and 5 are shorted together. That is our volume control, so this should just give us full volume. Uh, pin 7 is the ground for the volume. I'm not going to worry about it. And pin 8 is our signal out, and it will share the same ground there. Okay. I'm going to have to move this. Hang on. There you go. Give you an idea. We're going to inject a 1 kilohertz sine wave at 1 volt peak to peak. And hopefully pick it up here. Okay. So here is our input. As you can see, it is a 1 kilohertz at 1 volt peak to peak. Next, I will turn on the power supply. And look at that. Let's move these down here. My goodness, that is amplification, and it looks to be, I don't know. Maybe 100%. Let's see. Measure. Add channel 2. Peak to peak. So there you go. We're getting 2.04 or close to it. So we're almost doubling. I'm going to call that a win and a success, and it worked the first time. Holy cow, I can't believe it. <laughs> All right, let's try it at a higher frequency. All right, so you can see we are now at a 9K, which is about the range, the end of the range of my hearing anyway. Let's uh, turn on the power supply. Woohoo! So we're getting 2.4-ish or so volts. There we go. Cool. 
Well, like you guys know, I'm going to have to redesign the front panel. And uh, that will be coming up next month. If you enjoyed this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.